All right, hello, hello. This is for the Sagittarius, is sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for uh, the month of October. Why did I say October? Whoa, maybe that's important. This is for August. That is so weird. I was gonna say Sagittarius. So as I was shuffling, um, <laughs> I saw high priestess energy and I saw um, the queen of coins or the princess of coins. Um, so earth energy really pulled in. So some Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energies. So either you have that in your chart and you're a rising sign. I mean, I would say more Capricorn or whatever, or you're dealing with them. Um, so the weirdest thing is I was shuffling it and I saw that and, and then I reshuffled again and I split it up in the same exact place. And I was like, okay, yep, that's my sign. So I left it split over here. I don't know if you can see it. The camera's kind of wonky, kind of messed up. It kind of fell over. <laughs> so I have to readjust. Sorry about that. Um, 11 on the clock as I'm doing that. So I'm going to grab the zodiac sign and jump right in. It was the fairy tarot. We're jumping right into tarot and tarot tells. So I'm going to pull zodiac sign just to see if um, it's more specific for who you're dealing with or this is in your chart. Okay, underneath there is Pisces energies, Neptune, dreaminess. Um, 21, the threes, even communication in your dreams, stuff like that. Aries energy, 121. Weird. 3 1. Pisces, Aries. Hmm. Taking this action. 31. 3 1. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I wasn't anticipating that. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle and see. Okay. For Sagittarius, let's get a couple. So we've got some passion, Mars energy, that Aries energy. No way. There might even be Scorpionic, but the Mars. So this is. Upright, I see this is good, like knowing when to take action, but there's the fiery, I almost said fiery climax, but this is, you know what I mean, passionate. Something you're passionate about, there's Mars. Moon energy, oh my goodness, Mars and Moon conjuncting. Heavy, em this is emotion. Um, heavy emotion that can be very passionate. Oh my goodness. So some of you, that's also your moon sign energy. There's Leo energy, Cancer, Aries. Okay, Sagittarius or Libra, Aries, Scorpionic. Wow. And we're shining light on it. So we've got it in the, in the sun energy. So some of you might be a Pisces or Cancer as your sun energy, right? And then Sagittarius is uh, somewhere else in your chart. You're dealing with them. All right, in the main focus energy will or I'll get these ones with the crystals I'm gonna get an archetype oh sun it's really spotlights this is sun energy I'm setting it here filled by the coffee cup oracles and then we've got mercury communication with the sun even or with your father energy um, shining light on something a lot of cancer energy Gemini there too Pisces and Aries 415 8 why did I say 8.15? Okay. Um, wow. So something maybe. This is more of the middle of August also. Possibly even. Um, six is four six. Communication. It's about your Mercury. And it might even. It, this is good communication. I, I feel like. Like boosting your ego even. Water uh, energies for moon energies. So yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic, a lot of the Cancer energy, the 24th, the 6th, and Gemini energy, 6-6. Six, six. Okay, it's in reverse. So maybe there's just like these emotions aren't being revealed. Um, we'll see. Yeah, no way Pisces, Cancer is underneath the deck. We've got Taurus there too in between. So some of you are also dealing with... Um, a cancer sign or your moon sign is cancer pisces taurus some of you could be a cancer taurus pisces or you're dealing with someone specific this is dream energy i see the aries energy there too 412 interlinked with that 212 aquarius 42 42 43 43 no way okay there's also possibly uh an age difference of 10 years or something maybe 
69 and 79, so 43 and 53. Aries, Pisces, 112, even dealing with Capricorn. Holy crap. Or 12, 1, Sagittarius, right? 3, 1, more Pisces. Libra, with Cancer energy. Libra, 7, 1, and 7, 9. 79. 17, 12, 17. Weird. Okay, I'm just, I'm seeing like it's a brand new beginning. It's a, there's something that a ten dealing even with your career or something. Whew, that was exciting. I'm gonna get one more for the moon energy, and then I'm gonna start pulling other cards for Sagittarius energies. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Aquarius. <laughs> okay, some of you have Aquarius. It, I said moon. I said for moon, right? So maybe you have an Aquarius moon or you're dealing, this is also online, but it fell over here. So I'm setting it by this with even a rising sign for some of you who is Aquarius, Sagittarius. Okay, Knight of Coins. So I told you in the beginning, there was the earth energy, very young. It's taken a long time, slow. This is something that's worth value. This is going out, even um, taking your time, enjoying things being frugal with your spending um even online shopping this is really young energy okay you get i'm a barbie girl and a barbie girl barbie world you guys go in there and you get pretty in pink i don't know why but you do oh the emperor new verse i'm just gonna look we got two different nights going in opposite directions people are on two different paths you see this so the earth energy is definitely um dealing with aquarius too or online something slow someone else this mars and passion is looking towards emotion this is doing stuff on the down low this boss energy oh man aries taurus is off his rocker like leaving taking action and investing something Something's being invested in the sun energy, a Sagittarius energy, the seven Libra energy, a partnership even. Four. No way, the four again. Hmm. So the emperor might be this Cancer or Pisces. So the might not be feminine energy. You see what I'm saying? This is all immature. Why is the emperor in reverse? I'll get more clarification. Sagittarius energy still. There's overindulgence or not seeing, not having moderation, not seeing something clearly. Someone's paused, awaiting, even the sun energy. Um, so Sagittarius, this is investing in something and waiting for that harvest. Someone's sitting there waiting for somebody. This communication, wow. Maybe it comes in on the 15th or whatever, but doesn't have 10, 14, 14 or 15. They're only, yeah, oh, they might even be young, 14 or 15. Holy shit. I'm seeing a lot of 14s, like young people. You understand? Adolescence, foolishness, indulging. Oh, over not having moderation even with communication. It's just weird. Taking some, being foolish, having a new adventure. Oh, there was some sneakiness, something that was hidden, but it's come to light. And it has something to do with the water sign energy or the 24th that will come to light. That's only a couple days, but maybe it's the 24th from when you get it. I also see the sixth, seven, six, something about a cancer sign. Seven, five. This is good. This is coming out of any type of depression or sadness. This new adventure even. King of Cups. So you're all dealing with a cancer masculine or he was maybe a boss. That could be Aries Taurus. Virgo. Hmm. This is good. This is now being able to celebrate, being understanding, compassionate, especially if you're dealing with moon signs, Sagittarius, or this is your moon sign showing through. Whoa, clarity, the sun. Getting that clarity. This is new joy, happiness, shining light on things. 
this is good coming out of any depression or funk or something like this. This is cool. You know, it's weird Sagittarius. I have this video and I deleted it because I was just using like my playing cards. And I remember this King of Cups coming out of this sadness. And so this is almost like this is being reiterated. Huh. Like finally coming out of the cocoon. There's a transformation with this too, you see, Scorpionic. Yeah, leaving the nest, taking action, going out of, <laughs> coming out of any type of Virgo hermit mode. Oh, this is someone going straight towards nostalgia and someone from your past or childhood memories. Oh, this is upright and good though. Six, seven, Gemini energy again, but also Sagittarius. Someone is still defensive or they're blocked even. They've went through this portal and this new, this is someone from your past maybe, and you maybe look at or see them only online or something or social networking, or it's an Aquarius energy as well. Um, and this, this Sagittarius, the, the young energy, the Mars, this was player energy running around all the time possibly. And so someone has blocked them even. Um, they're just like, I don't want to see this immature, a, a Virgo possibly, or they're, they've blocked themselves. They're like defending or protecting even a Virgo or someone, you know, taking, trying to get some enlightenment, stay at home, a boss, um, Cancer, Aries, Leo even. Oh, someone's been waiting for something because their investments, okay, I see this even shining light on, this is investment stuff here. This will fortunes in reverse, right? Because right now it's like, this is planting seeds, 7, 13, um, 7, 10, sometime in uh, July. <laughs> Investing, and right now it's on a down low. So maybe an investment is losing money, so it's not a time to take out. I'm really talking about, this is karmic stuff. So someone's on a down cycle, uh, right? So even there's some bad karma they're on a down cycle. There is that heavy drinking. And even it's not even like at a party or a celebration. Like just alone. I drink alone. Three nine. <laughs> Shit. Out having fun. Even being foolish. They don't want to get back together. They just want to go have fun. Uh, start something new and fresh and have their wishes fulfilled. This is overindulgence, even foolish energy, Aries, um, uh, Mercury, the communication, even the Gemini Virgo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The communication coming through. They're not being deceptive. They're just going to, they're going to tell you straight up. They want to, they're going to go out, want to have fun. Nine, eight, even Virgo energy or something happens during that time. New love, no longer sad. Someone finds new love. It's very loving, compassionate. It's the King of Cups energy, or this is your moon energy. Um, it's a lot of Cancer energy, a lot of Pi Pisces. I don't see Scorpionic, interesting enough. It's a lot of just Pisces or Cancer. A lot of Cancer energy. 17, maybe someone 17 or 17. There's Capricorn. This new love, though, look, it's coming out of looking at options. I like this. Look, feeling like there's this feeling of love and emotion that's fresh and feels right. And it's compassionate. It's upright. It's it's real. <laughs> this is real. This is good. And it's like someone's being awakened even to the clarity the sunshine like there's a there is a transformation with that because it's coming out of illusion from looking at your options it's like finally finding what you were i finally found what i was looking for queen of queens in reverse so some of you dealing with virgo energy um or the virgo moon was the virgo moon here what was the moon the water sign um feminine this person might feel in a lack mentality or this is kind of gold digger energy even might be <laughs> oh shit and there's the scorpionic and that's going to create a tower 
who's not built on love. So for some of you, there is an, this other energy, this Virgo energy is not built on love. It's about money. And someone's like taking off. They're getting clarity. I think you'll see it clearly. Like, or there isn't. I mean, but that shouldn't matter. Like, I mean, feeling like you can never make it or you don't have enough and you're greedy, I guess. I mean, the Scorpionic's coming through with this. But it's, yeah, and it's going to knock it all down. And then you'll have, like, just a tiny little bit to work with. Even just, they have, like, nothing. They feel like they have nothing to offer. <laughs> like, here's five bucks for something. A, a treat. And so this, um, wow. Wow. Whoa. No more fighting or competing. It's in reverse. Oh, with a fire sign energy. So Sagittarius feminines, um, but Leo or Aries feminines. There's no more fighting or competing. That it's like it's over. There was there was battling with that. There was even provocativeness trying to get attention. Someone comes in quickly and just like this says what's up. This, this is completely... Scorpio is coming in, guys. Scorpio is coming in. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just seeing this. I'm all... There's not much Scorpio on that. Boom. Here we go. Better late than never to the party, huh? Okay, so clearly communicating. This is also Aries, Libra. It could be Gemini, of course, but I'm seeing Cardinal. But detached emotionally. About even death about transformation speaking honestly though it's a little cold there isn't compassion with that yeah oh they're just worried about money about the finances about it because those uh that costs a lot of money they feel like there's not enough money for someone sometimes people don't pay attention to the okay we're gonna talk about death benefits and stuff and things like that right and the cost of funeral stuff is expensive and sometimes when you're in a grieving period you don't think about things logically you know it's a business too guys so this is speaking unemotionally and detached and being honest and logical it's not uncaring it's it's wise uh, to pay attention Someone feels completely left out in the cold, though, or their finances. Uh, they've lost money, uh, even regarding death or transformation. Yeah. So, no longer being stuck. Things finally transform, though. With being stuck in your head, there's strength there now. Wisdom. This strength is, like, gained by compassion and knowledge. Instead of um, war, warrior, this is, yeah, and no longer feeling like you, there's anxiety. I feel like someone feels like they've, they've gained this information, this wisdom. They're unapologetic, uh, but judgment. Someone got a second chance. They've seen the light. They get a second chance. The Empress and the Magician in Reverse. Someone gave someone else a second chance. A, a woman, um, a mother, a Gemini in specific, or it could be even someone who was doing shit on the down low that they shouldn't have been doing. A mother, a wife. Um, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, or Aries. Someone give him a second chance. Okay. That was quite a story, Sagittarius, 1919. Okay, I'm gonna throw some tea leaves. Well, nah, let's grab an archetype first. All right, I I just shuffled these and I just set them up here and I'm just grabbing one out of the top for now. Ah, uh, two came out, so you're getting two. The Starborn and the Storm. See ya. The three. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what the L is. <laughs> 40. It's in the room, Roman numerals. 
So we got the Starborn and the Storm. That's really interesting. I'm probably going to read those out of the book. Even someone waiting for something to be birthed. An Aquarius energy, a Gemini. Um, something about a storm. Even going through chaos and holding, right? Even with some karmic bad fortune. Uh, <laughs> the storm that came through. They're dealing with a storm. Mm. Okay. Um, I am going to get tea leaves 2024 20, before I continue. So, I'm very Sagittarius. All right. Can't make this too much longer. We've got legs stepping out into a new experience. So, someone t taking a new adventure, right? Trying out something new. The legs. These legs. And I'm saying it like the Sagittarius. It's even, um, someone is, I kind of see someone is, they're blocking or defending someone from their past, even from their childhood. And it could be an Aquarius. Um, they're like a protector. Sagittarius, you're a protector. Taurus energy too. Someone taking things really slow. When you were young. Huh. Stepping out to something new. Hmm disappointment in some affairs so this is even this march so something you go out into something and then you've got to cut something it gets cut from the situation or something maybe and this is why someone's defensive there's a disappointment hmm. and i and someone else wants to stay at home right and this moon energy the the cancer father energy even or aries leo virgo trouble accusations oh See, I'm telling you, someone is defending someone, like protecting them because of there's frying pan accusations, even a boss, the emperor, like the Virgos oh, wanting to stay home and, uh, I'm seeing 914 Virgo, weird, accusations, let's find out about the Starborn. And what are we waiting for? Something's been invested. An egg. But it's cracking. So it's hatching. Lily. Spiritual love. The starborn. The lily. Oh, wow. Okay, well, what about the storm? Dogs and friends. It fell by the mushroom oracle and the, fa the fairy tarot and the whispers. Whispers. Um, dagger. Yeah, fear. Worries. Tense situation. You will be shown the way. Trusting. Following the light. Right? This uh, communication. Okay. I'm going to look under the deck because it is getting long and I got it 23 minutes. So then the fair woman. Dealing's a relationship with a woman with blonde hair, gray, or white hair. Protected from negative forces beyond her control. I feel like this is Libra energy or Capricorn doesn't have to be um, a misunderstanding. So there is a blockage. There's a misunderstanding in communication, unsuccessful outcome, a broken bridge, because there's a misunderstanding and changes in your life. So the moon cycle is flowing through with this. At the full moon, even, you're going to hear these good news, an exciting event. So Whenever the full moon is in August, I didn't double check that. Uh, you know, I'm sure I'll do another video beyond then. Um, the fair woman. Interesting. Okay. All right. So you're getting, so you're going out with friends. It's getting together with friends. Okay. Someone's defending someone else. I'm seeing that pretty clear. Getting together with these friends. Even there's communication coming in about it. Stepping into some new experience. And we've got the mushrooms. Rishi. Spirit medicine. One. New beginning. Aquarius. One, one. And Capricorn. 109. Huh? Sagittarius. Whoa. One, seven. And the essence. And I see shine. Ghost mushroom. Interesting. The one, seven. The 17th. There's Aquarius energies. Libra and Aries and Scorpionic with this. The Essence. Huh. I'm like, I just read this one out of the book. 
And for some reason, I can't remember exactly. This one's still kind of new. I wasn't anticipating getting these. I just trust, as we show in the way, this communication, the mushrooms. We also have more tarot over there. Purpose, judgment, 28, a 10. Finding purpose. The blue color, Mycena Interrupta. Someone gets interrupted. What is this new love energy that gets clarity even? No longer looking at options. Like you found what you're looking for. Turkey tail. The block. A four. Hmm. 428. 10 four, 104. Seven four. <laughs> I'm going to read what they say in the book. And then this tower moment. I see indigo, true colors shining through. 33. The yin energy. Tremella. So this is the combing. So the feminine energy is possibly scorpionic, but or it's just a feminine energy, you see? True colors, the indigo, the blues. 610, Gemini too, Scorpio. And expanded awareness, the magic mushroom, the seven. <laughs> indigo and magic mushrooms. Okay. All right, one more. What is this tower? I mean, there's like happiness though. And it creates a tower for someone else, I guess. King, oyster, substance, the elevens. This is about having, I like, pulled it in reverse. It's like 411. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm gonna look under there. Once again, expanded awareness. Okay, where's the mushrooms? Mushrooms. I wasn't anticipating doing this one, 2704, but I'm just jumping in. I see the fairy caps and subtle, subtlety. Um, 28. All right, so this um, Mycena Interrupta about purpose and judgment. This is an inedible. So we've got page 84, 85. 12 and 13, right? It's also known as the pixie's parasol. It's a striking little mushroom standing up to 22 millimeters high. Don't be fooled by how little and fragile it is. Most of its mass is within the wood. It's decomposing. Keep in mind the mushroom is simply fruiting body of mycelium. It's only found in Southeastern Australia, New Zealand, New Caledonia, and Chile, which is known as the Gondwana distribution. This is because these countries are part of an ancient supercontinent that broke up about 200 million years ago. In Australia, it is known as Gondwandland, another rare mushroom, small with a big purpose. It says, a small but mighty mushroom with a big purpose, don't ever let looks fool you. Remember the analogy of the tip of the iceberg. You never know what's under the surface. You see only what wants or needs to be shown. The mycelium of this mushroom is a mass within the wood, slowly decomposing it and turning it into nutrients that supplies the nearby trees. It is small, but plays such an important role. It is not only stunning, but hard to spot because it is a tiny mushroom. This card indicates that you don't need to be seen while completing your purpose. And don't be worried about what people assume about you. Small and fragile does not mean insignificant and useless. It means there is beauty in everything seen and unseen, and not to judge a situation or person at first glance. It takes time to understand any person or thing because there's always so much more under the surface. It could also mean not to judge a book by its cover. People have so much more depth to them than they let on. There is always more to learn about a person or a situation, so don't assume. Gather your information and look deeper. Looking deeper. Water signs, 2-8, 7-28, Leo energy, coming out of any sadness or depression, look deeper. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to the turkey tail, the turkey tail. Ah, I saw the essence one. What do you need to excel? Do you need help from someone or something? 
Do you need an extra push to help you grow? 31. Hmm. Ask yourself, what do I need? Are you placing the stores that you use? Are you looking after yourself? All right, turkey tail. This is a block. This is edible and medicinal. Where is there a blockage or stagnation in your life? It is time to focus on building your energy and defenses so you can shift this stuck energy. Chinese medicine says if there is debris in a creek causing it to be blocked, do not lift each heavy piece out of the way individually. Instead, build the flow of water so its force moves the debris on effortlessly. The creek or river is our blood and our chi, and the debris is st stuck energy repressed emotions, and the accumulation of fluids that need movement to transform them. When we build ourselves up on the inside, we give ourselves a better chance of pushing through obstacles within and outside of ourselves. Turkey tail is effective in cancer treatment. Cancer is the proliferation of cells in an abnormal state that is an overgrowth of cells. Ask yourself, what has triggered something in my life to grow out of control? and dangerously is something you have left unchecked grown to a point that it's no longer serving you or is there someone or something in your life that is no longer for your highest good it is time to look around you and inside yourself to find what stands in the way of your flow and remove it by making this stand and strengthening your energy you allow the life force that moves you to flow naturally bringing balance and harmony back to your life. 24, 25, 424, 425, 6, 7, the 13s, the 4s again. I did see 444 four, four actually before I was going to do your video. Very interesting. Then we got the 11. So I'm going to go to that one and then I'm going to finish this up because we're already at 32, 13. All right, the substance. This king oyster is edible. It is the king of the oyster mushroom that's known by many names, King Brown, King Trumpet, among others, and is easily identified with its thick stem and dark brown cap. Like most edible mushrooms, it's nutrient dense, high in fiber and protein, low in calories. It has similarly amazing anti-inflammatory properties, as well as possibly lowering cholesterol improving the immune system and having anti-cancer properties. It is also high in antioxidants and has the longest shelf life of all the oyster mushrooms found wild in Southern Europe and North Africa. It has been cultivated and used for some time in China, Japan, and Italy, and is the longest lasting of the oyster mushrooms. We got 41 and 42 and 43, 44. That's the morel, the restore. The king oyster mushroom is large and meaty. For this reason, it's often used as a substitute for meat in meals. It is thick and full-bodied with many health benefits. In drawing the king oyster card, you are being called to look at where you can substitute something you're currently use for something that will give you more value. Hmm, where can you beef something up with an alternative? Is there another way to do something that will create more value in what you are doing? The King Oyster is about substance. There are many things you can use in place of others and finding something with substance as well as relevance is key here. The King is indeed very big and can make a complete meal with a single mushroom. Show that you have substance. Show that you can stand alone because you are enough by yourself. Show that you have amazing qualities without the use of anything else. Stand in your power and be a leader. Look for quality and substance in everything you do and the people you choose to let into your life. Substance is about giving back. How can you help and focus on making something purposeful? Wow, this is uh, Nicola McIntosh. Beautiful uh, author. That was that information out of this book. Um, Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that information, 34 minutes. This one has been so long, um, but there was a lot going on, right? I do want to get an, a unicorn oracle. Um, 
law of grace. 41, guys, 41. Be your divine essence. Dissolve all in grace. The purple, the pink, ah, pretty and pink even. Grace, even with children, with cancer sign, with Aries, with Leos. Wow, the Unicorn Oracle is by Diana Cooper. Diana. Jack and Diane. Two kids. What's that? <laughs> you know, I'm jumping into music now, all right? I always gotta love the music. All right, Sagittarius, for your month of August, one more Unicorn Oracle. I say one more and a whole bunch pops out. So here we go. Unicorn Relationships. Uncord. I said un Four. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. If you're holding any stuff, especially dealing with online or friendship, social networking, Aquarius energies, someone from your past, friends, Taurus energies, four, home, family, cancer, 414, Aries, two, 42, pure intention, find clarity, surrender your ego, your fight or flight, this defensiveness, disappointment with maybe even a Taurus or something you value, second house energy, um, the 29, at 229, build your light body, Mahatma energy, even going into this hermit mode, this Virgo mode, this Cancer sign, Aries, Cancer, Virgo, um, accelerate your ascension, Emperor. Mahatma energy. Wow. And then we've got the spiritual warrior. You, you see, so there's this warrior thing there. I didn't even read the Starborn. Someone's been patiently waiting for what they've invested in, right? The tens. 37. Show you are a wise leader. Command the universe. Ha! Huh. There's Leo and the lamb and the unicorn. Huh. Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, Aries, Leo. All of them, Sagittarius, 37, 39. So, 10, 12, Libra. So, what is that? There is this fear, even the storm. Ascension, lift, prepare for rapid spiritual growth. Be ready for opportunities. Fear and worry, overcoming these things, too. Wow. 12, lift off. And 21, 1221, Sagittarius, lift up. Switch your inner light. Bring forward your gifts. The magical crystal cave. Oh my gosh, see, I want to keep it going, guys. It's going to shine the light on this. 3-3, three, three. the six is receiving something, bringing forth your gifts. The candle, you'll be shown the way. This communication even about it, this new beginning. Okay, I'm getting crystals and stones now. I am going to look under the tarot deck and see... See, someone's feeling very victorious. Yeah. With what they see. There's a key. The key's in this crystal. I'm seeing amethyst spotlighted right there. Whoa. What else see? Oh, Aquarius. Underneath it, someone's not shining. Like, they don't want to be in the spotlight. They don't feel um, like a star. Hmm. Hierophant is upright again. I didn't even get to what I needed to for you guys. Like I should do a second video. Why? Why Sagittarius is so much going on in August for you? How about that, guys? If you want to hear the rest, um, I'm gonna make a second video because there is more tarot, fairy tarot, the crystals, and it's getting so long. So this is victorious. Feeling like you, you won a battle. King of Coins, even right? That Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feeling like you. I mean, this just means you feeling like you have finances. You feeling like you know how to create stability, wealth, a lot of Taurus energy. Even the over the wounded hero, the Chiron. Nine six, Gemini two, overcoming like heartbreak. It's like this. I'm still standing, Elton John song. A whole new world. 621. Hmm. Okay. So if you want to see more, stick around. Um, I'll try and 
want, if it's already uploaded, check the description box. I'll see if I can link it in. But I'm going to make a second video for August month for Sagittarius. Lucky you. Okay, bye-bye.